What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are doing my WrestleMania 39 predictions. I'm going to be breaking down night one and night two. I have no idea, I'm, I am I have no idea what night, you know, the matches are going to be. I have the list right here in front of me. It says night one's pretty much fully laid out, but at the time of recording this, it is on Tuesday afternoon, and on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I'm flying out, and so I won't see SmackDown before this, but this will probably be posted maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. I, I don't know exactly what day this is going to be posted but nonetheless we're going to be breaking down Wrestlemania 39 I'm going to go through the matches break down every single thing and I'll probably pop up a little thing of the figures like right here I know usually we're in the backstage area I'm filming each figure individually and I don't know how I've never really gauged your interest on that like the video views on those videos usually do pretty decent and so it's just interesting it's just figures sitting there so maybe you'd like to see me in front of the camera for the videos and then maybe just put the figures off to the side I don't I don't know but now let's man let's dive into Wrestlemania 39 break down all the matches and let you guys know what my personal predictions are for the show i look forward to the show i will be there we'll be there you know going into this week you know wrestlemania access looking at figure reveals all those different things so it should be fun but let's dive into wrestlemania 39 and find out where the hell i stand i'd like to say before we dive into it i am actually very excited for the show both nights i think the card's pretty flushed out yeah probably three or four matches i'm like eh or maybe we don't need but here we are man let's just dive into it let's shut the hell up dive into wrestlemania 39 and give you my full show predictions all right, so getting into our first matchup, Austin Theory taking on the GOAT John Cena for the United States Championship. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I really want John Cena to win this thing. I am probably one of the biggest Cena fans you'll meet. I just want him to win, man. I really do. I've never been a big Austin Theory guy. However, I have been one to say that he would be the future of the company. I, I've read about it. I've talked about it multiple times. I think they're trying to make him into the next John Cena. And how big would that be for him to beat John Cena at WrestleMania? But I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm all over the place on this one. But I think I'm going to go with John Cena winning the matchup and capturing the U.S. Championship. And maybe dropping it on the Raw after Mania. Or maybe staying with the company for a couple months and maybe lose it down the line. But at WrestleMania right here, I'm just going to predict Cena. I'm going to go for my boy here. I'm going to back my boy Cena and that's going to be the end of it. If Austin Theory wins, I understand it. I'm just not, I'm not going to be going for that. I don't want to be a part of that. But uh, it's probably going to happen. Next up is Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. And for this one, man, I am not one for celebrities in wrestling. I think Logan Paul's a great athlete. I think that he's done fantastic in all of his work, really, inside WWE. Like, all of his performances have been great. I, I literally don't really have a bad thing to say about him as a wrestler. I think he's probably the best celebrity wrestler ever. That's probably fair to say. However, uh, you know, going one-on-one -on -one with an actual guy that has committed his life to this craft. And that's why I don't like celebrities in wrestling anyway. I think that they're in it for the money most of the time. They're in it for, you know, the clicks and things like that. And I guess everybody technically is doing everything for money, right? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, most people do everything for money. Of course, you have your hobbies and you think you should do on the side, but at the end of the day, you know, you're chasing the bag. But in this matchup, I'm going to predict Seth Rollins to win. I really hope he wins. Uh, Seth Rollins is another one of my favorite guys. I, I really want him to win. I'm going to predict him to win, but it wouldn't shock me if Logan Paul won. For some reason, I feel like The Miz is going to cost Logan Paul in some way. I, I don't know. That's just what my, my brain's telling me. So I don't know. We'll see about that, but I'm, I'm going to predict Seth Rollins to win, but it would not shock me to go the other way. Next up is our six women's tag team match between Trish, Lita, and Becky Lynch taking on Dakota Kai, or I don't want to say the whole Damage Control, Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO Sky. I think that, uh, I, I don't know, man. I honestly think that we're going to get the baby faces over here. I think that, I know that they won and they've had some comeuppance and things like that. They've had their moments in this feud, which makes me think that Damage Control is going to take the win, but I think we're going to do the baby face thing here, and the, the faces are going to win this thing, and maybe we lead to a damage control breakup or something like that. I'm going to go with Trish, Lita, and Becky. You know, that's, that's literally three of my favorite women in the company probably ever. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to predict them to take the take it home here. I know I'm rolling with my favorites, but I don't like to just go into wrestling and be like, oh, I'm putting my business cap on and I know all the inside information. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I really feel like they're going to win. I could be wrong again, but uh, that's just what my brain's telling me, man. I don't know. I'm going to go Trish, Lita, and Becky for the win here. And uh, I like to support my favorites. Even if I know it's not going to happen, I still like to root for them in a sports-like mindset. So, 
You guys get the point. Next up is a matchup that I'm not looking forward to whatsoever. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. And I, I'm picking Brock Lesnar all the way. I don't think he's showing up WrestleMania weekend to go take a nail to Omos. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't see that. That's not, I don't, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't see it. I, I don't see it. I don't think he's going to roll over and take the L here. I think this is a favor for Vince McMahon. But it probably was like, you're going to fight Omos at WrestleMania. And he was like, hell no. And then he was like, for this bag, you will. And he said, okay. And then he said, you know what? If that's going to happen, then I'm, I'm going to win this match. So that's probably what I'm going here. I'm going Brock Lesnar to win. No ifs, ands, or buts. Next up, we have Bianca Belair versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Tough call here. I'm going to go Asuka, though. I think it's the right move. I think Bianca Belair's reign's been kind of mid. It's been pretty boring, to be honest with you. And I love Bianca Belair. I think she's a fantastic performer. I think she's fantastic in the ring. She has a long, great, fantastic career ahead of her. Can't say a bad word about her, but her reign has been quite boring, in my opinion. This build hasn't been very intriguing, in my opinion. I think we need to give the championship to Asuka here on the grandest stage, have her capture the championship, and that be uh, where we go from here. Give us something fresh and new, you know, uh, we'll just see where it goes, but I'm going to go Asuka for the championship, which leads us to our second women's championship, which is going to be Charlotte Flair taking on Rhea Ripley, and same deal, I think we're going to see a new champion here. I got Rhea Ripley dethroning Charlotte and getting her, you know, her revenge there. Getting the revenge, Rhea is one of the hottest women's talents in the business right now, probably the hottest act for Predicted her to win the Royal Rumble. Predicted her to make it to Mania for the championship. Gonna predict her to win this match. I got Rhea Ripley over Charlotte. Next up is the, the Women's WrestleMania Showcase Fatal 4-Way. I didn't even know about this until like yesterday. They may have even announced it yesterday. It's like it's like today's Thursday. I didn't learn today was Thursday until just today on Thursday. But Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Ra Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. You know, this is a way to try to get all these women on the card. Try to get them a payday. I don't like the idea of trying to get everybody on the card. I like WrestleMania to be the showcase of the best talent that represents that wrestling season or year. And I don't really, like, I don't have a huge issue with it, but I don't like how they try to cram everybody on the card. I like natural progression of feuds and things that make sense. Put all your championships there and then have your outside feuds that don't include championships to kind of throw in there. And that's what I would like to see. But, you know, here we are, Brad. So uh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Ronda and Shayna. It wouldn't shock me to see Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, but I'm going to go with Ronda and Shayna. I really don't have a dog in the fight. I'm not really looking forward to the matchup. Maybe it'll shock me, but I'm going to go with Ronda and Shayna. Next up, we have Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. I've really enjoyed this feud, even though I'm not a Dominic fan. I, you know, I think Logan Paul's a better performer than him. Not like docking, like that's a bad thing necessarily. Logan Paul's better than a lot of guys you'll see, but Dominic Mysterio having a legendary dad like Rey Mysterio and everything like that. You would think he'd be a whole lot better. He's just not quite the athlete that his dad is and a lot, whole lot of other things, obviously. But I've enjoyed this feud. I've enjoyed them interacting. I think Dom's like prison-style gimmick has been really fantastic and fun to watch. And I think Rey Mysterio is going to take the L to his son at WrestleMania, and it's going to be his retirement match. I think Dominic wins. His, his dad retires. He goes into the Hall of Fame, and he loses to his son at WrestleMania. I don't know how you could book a better last match than that. I know, like, with the crazy, like, details and stuff like that, you probably wanted to come in a better context, but I think in the grand scheme, having your son, you losing to your own son at WrestleMania and going into the Hall of Fame that same year, it, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like Hallmark stuff. So I think that Dominic is going to beat Rey Mysterio. But it wouldn't shock me if it went the other way. I like Dom over Rey, though. I, I'm, I'm, You know what? I'm kind of excited for that one. On the other hand, we have our men's WrestleMania Fatal 4-Way showcase of the tag teams and the stuff. Braun Strowman and Ricochet, the Street Profits. Alpha Academy, the Viking Raiders. I'm going Street Profits. Uh, I, I'd really like to see them win here. You know, kind of thrust them up. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where we're going with the tag team championships following this show. I mean, I have an idea, but I just like the Street Profits here. I think they're your best overall tag team. They're really your only legitimate tag team besides the Viking Raiders, but the Viking Raiders haven't done jack shish. So it's a whole deal there, but I'm going to go Street Profits. I really enjoy those guys. I, I just think that it makes the most sense for them to win. Give them the WrestleMania win here. I'm going with those guys to win this match. Next up, guys, we have the Triple Threat Intercontinental Championship match. One of the matches I'm most looking forward to. It's got all the styles that I love. It's the hard-hitting, the hard, strong style. Gunther, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Triple Threat Intercontinental Championship. Matchup's going to slap, literally. They're going to beat the absolute hell out of each other. 
Probably going to be match of the entire weekend. Going to be unbelievable. I cannot wait for it. I think these guys are going to go the limit. It's going to be an early contender for 2023 match of the year. I, I can go ahead and say that. I really would like to see Gunther retain, but for some reason, I'm feeling Sheamus, man. I'm feeling a Sheamus victory here. I'm going to go Sheamus to actually. I've already predicted like all the other championships to change hands. Uh, I'm going Gunther. I'm going Gunther. Gunther, Gunther, whatever you want to say. He's still Walter to me, damn it. I'm going Gunther. I'm going Gunther. That's it. I've, I've already said, you know, this guy's losing this title. This guy's losing this title. I'm going to stay with Gunther. I think it's going to be a fantastic match, and I can't wait for it. I'm going there. That's my final. That's my final. Just sticking it into the board. Next up is another matchup that I'm so much looking forward to, man. Finn Balor, Edge, two of my favorites ever going head-to-head. -head. The Demon Finn Balor returns for the Hell in a Cell matchup. Holy Shh. This is going to be insane. It says that it's to be determined what night it's on. I pray to God it's on night one because I believe I'm only going to be at night one of WrestleMania. I'm working on getting a second ticket to night two, but I really want to see that matchup live in person. I believe the chamber is changing back from red to the original silver or, you know, the steel. And that makes me so happy and excited. I think everybody's on the over the edge about it. I'm going Demon Finn Balor. I'm going Demon Finn Balor because apparently this might be Edge's last matchup as well. Well, and I could see that. I could see him losing to Demon Finn Balor, and then, or maybe he does. This is going to be his last Mania match, and I think you know the Demon needs to prevail. He's only lost to what Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe in NXT. He might have took another L somewhere down the line, but I got Demon Balor over Edge. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going here. And it's weird because coming in, Finn Balor's the heel, but like you have the Demon. You know, it's the Demon, bro. The D. You think they're gonna boo the Demon? Hell no. Next up is our Tag Team Undisputed Championship matchup between the Usos taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Probably one of my favorite matches of the entire weekend and one of the matches I'm most looking forward to is this matchup, man. Uh, I hope it's also on night one. It doesn't look like it's going to be on night one. Like, night one already has six matches, apparently. And that makes me sick. Uh, they, the, I, I just, uh. This needs to main event night one, to be honest with you. And I don't, it doesn't look like I'm going to get the Hell in a Cell match and the Tag Team Championship match, unfortunately. But I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to win. Just because it makes the most sense storyline-wise with the Sami Zayn and everything like that. Even though he's cooled off a little bit, the matches, the storytelling's still been fantastic. It's been incredible. Everything with the bloodline, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. But at the end of the day, I think they're going to capture the tag team championships, and I hope they do. I'm also a massive Kevin Owens guy. I just love that man to death. Think he's just the best. Top five performer in the world overall. I, I got to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn here, and that's what I'm going to be hoping for. I just think this match is going to slap tits, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I believe we've done every single matchup except for the main event which is going to be the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship match or the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship match whatever you want to say Roman Reigns the Tribal Chief versus Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble here we go man it is time to book the main event and I am on the fence I am completely on the fence in this matchup, man, I have no idea where their head's at. If Roman Reigns retain, it wouldn't shock me. If Cody Rhodes wins, it will not shock me. I am completely torn in half on this match because I have no idea where they're going. I can't even fathom where they're going, to be honest with you. This is one of the toughest matches to predict ever. I don't know about ever. I think at the end of the day, I'm just going to go with Cody. And that would mean that mostly every championship is changing hands. I know what that means, all right? I get it, but I j that's just what I'm feeling, man. All these championships changing hands just feels right in this scenario. Maybe outside of Austin Theory, I could see Austin Theory retaining. I could see Gunther retaining. I might could see Bianca retaining. But for some reason, I am feeling I'm just, he's going to finish the story. You know what I mean? I think he's going to finish the story and Roman Reigns is going to take a nice hiatus, take a nice break, take some time off and come back later on. Maybe we get a couple matches out of these two. Maybe we get a triple threat or something with somebody else. We'll see how all of that unfolds. But for this matchup at WrestleMania... I'm going to roll with Cody. Love Cody so much. I think, uh, I mean, I love Roman too. Just, uh, the roster has a bunch, uh, it's stacked right now, man. I mean, of course, you got your Omos's, your Dom Mysterio's of the world, but this roster is absolutely stacked, and I mean, we're not, we don't even include Riddle or Randy Orton or AJ Styles that are all on the shelf, so I'm rolling with Cody. Going with my boy Cody, and we're going to roll with it. That's my final pick for WrestleMania 39, but I will be at the show. I will be in, Re I'm literally flying out on early, early Thursday morning as soon as I land in LA. I gotta ride over to the Superstore, take a look at the Mattel WWE action figure reveals, 
and uh, I'm going to be there for a while, man, just probably interacting with people, talking to the Mattel team, doing coverage there live at the event with my device and camera, getting some footage for you guys getting my own images for all socials. I plan on posting my coverage while I'm there, and then I'll have, like, vlogs and toy hunts and other things about the weekend later on, maybe the next week after editing all of those videos. But that is going to wrap up my WrestleMania 39 predictions, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout-out to our patrons for making this channel possible, man. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel that way, lots of bonus content and tiers. We are giving away two WWE or AEW action figures this month. We don't know exactly which one is which, but that'll be given away sometime in April obviously but that is gonna wrap up this video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below i'm getting out of here man subscribe to the channel i just said that have a blessed one and i'll see you next time we'll never